Oh, welcome back here. It's Nosy Joe. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm up at the 2020 Auburn Court Duesenberg, what would normally be the festival, but it's just kind of an unofficial gathering this year, out here at the museum parking lot in Auburn, Indiana. The museum is the original administration building for the Auburn Company, so from the 20s. A lot of cool cars out here today. That's a Duesenberg, that yellow one right there, the green trim. It's for sale, $600,000 if you're interested in that. Just going to take a spin around the parking lot here to see the club members vehicles. I don't think I'll try to scoot through there. It's pretty crowded. We're going to head over to the uh, Auburn Auction Grounds. Try to get a good look at the cars as we go by. They're about ready to take a little trip downtown. There's the Auburn Museum from the front. Neat old place. I recommend going through it. It's only 10 or 15 bucks. But I like coming up here every year. Like I said, normally there's a big festival going on. But because of the COVID, they postpone that till next year. But, um, you know, people are still getting together. But uh, now we're out on our way out to the uh, auction grounds. This used to be the Cruise Auburn auction for a long time. And I forget what the deal was with them, but they lost it. eBay, I think, bought it from them. It was actually ran by eBay for a couple years. This is kind of before the Barrett Jacksons and all of them got so big. And you were starting to transition to some online bidding. Um, so eBay owned it and I think they sold it back to Cord or sorry, Cruise sold it back to Cruise. And um, now it's owned by uh RM Southabies options, which Southabies is a long time you know, auction house for antiques and stuff so I hope it still continues to go um, they started auctioning cars here on Thursday of this week a couple hundred cars a day Saturday is the big day where you uh, where the more expensive cars the Duesenbergs and stuff will be out here today so I want to see those and um, check out how things are going. There's kind of two trains of thought that either the prices will be down because not much of a turnout or because there is online bidding and kind of pent up demand because there aren't a whole lot of other things going on this year that maybe actually prices will be higher. So find out. I'm not really a buyer, but um, to even be here today, you had to register to bid. So so it's an auction only, and you have to be registered to bid to, to get in. So see how this goes. I think that's the thing saying I'm a right, bidder. What you want to do is take a left here all the way to the left. There's a road that will take you around the bend to the back. There's a boot. You get your bidder's information. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 
Auburn Auction Park. So again, this is normally a big old car corral. I've sold cars at the car corral before. Um, you know, that's not an auction. That's just sitting out with your car. It's kind of neat. That's where the deals are. And um, big old swap meet. I mean, it takes two or three hours to normally go through the swap meet. But that is all canceled this year because of the COVID. So the only thing actually going on is the, the main event, which is the cars going across the auction block. So we're going to do, do that this year. I've never actually been a bidder, but that's kind of what you had to do this year. So that's what I'm doing. See how good of a parking spot I can get. I could probably slip in there by that truck. I don't know why I couldn't. It's a pretty good spot. So anyway, I'll pick back up inside. So here's something my son would think is pretty cool. Really nice restored Toyota truck. I assume it's restored. Doesn't have any rest on it, so looks like a really nice old truck. That's the neat thing about Auburn, you just kind of see all kinds of stuff. Cadillac here with the correct dual four with the Batwing air cleaner. Those often get modified to become Chevy Batwing air cleaners. The carb spacing is a little bit different. But uh, that's a that's a five thousand dollar air cleaner. Dual air bath dual oil bath air cleaner. I think it's got a stainless steel or aluminum roof on it. Fifty-seven El Dorado Brome. Quite the glove box in there. The cord. Those are my favorites. The Auburn cord dues in here. Makes. Battery is a little low. I think those are old six volt systems. There it goes. It's got the, uh, these are front wheel drive cars. And he moved away before I could get there, but they have this little pre selector switch for the shifter that's uh, electrically actuated. It's got a clutch, but the shifter is electric. Kind of neat. So here's a little 63 split window that sold, I guess, yesterday. Looks pretty good. Get the sold sticker on it. I like the red light, the red stripe tires. One of the most desirable Corvettes there ever was. 63 split window. This Buick wagon here is one I have my eye on. I want to see it auctioned today. I just think they did a really good job with the styling and then kind of pulled it into the resto mod modernization. It's pretty cool right here beside it too. Uh, Woody in the background. Let's take a look inside this wagon. It's 
nicely done. My guess is this isn't going to go very cheap. But again, I wasn't sure what the turnout was going to be today, so pretty sure it's no reserve car, so you never know, might get lucky. So here's a little Crosley. This is a pre-war. And um, these were made in Richmond, Indiana. They have a little two-cylinder engine in them. After World War II, Crosley's had a four-cylinder overhead cam engine, and they were all built in Marion, Indiana. So that's a Crosley. So they start the cars at noon going across the auction block. So this is the cars lined up here, getting ready to go. About four lanes deep, looks like. I think there's going to be about 200 cars today. Super clean little Nova here. I love the poverty caps, red painted wheels. It's like it's a four speed car. Big block four speed car. Wow. 396, 375 horse. That'd be a nice little car. Definitely don't see these every day. 61 Corvair ramp side truck. So I think, you know, Volkswagen made similar types of vehicles and GM tried to compete with them with their Corvair line. Made trucks and vans. About the nicest one I've ever seen. And is a 1961 Chevrolet Corvair ramp side pickup. A rare and special thing today, ladies and gentlemen. It is a functional design in a highly alluring package. Now, this is benefiting from an older restoration, but today, extremely well presented. All right, here we go. I want to get 50 for me. How many down the top? 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 How many I get 45 into the 46. I get 45 into the 46. How about 45 five? Anybody? 45 five. 45 five. 46. 45 five. 46. 45 five into the 46. Into the 46. 45 five. 46. Reserves all. 45 five. 46. So 45 five. We got it here. 45 five. Thank you. This is one of the very best. 71,000 online now, 72,000. I get 71 and 72. Try to do 71, I'm going to be 72. I 71, 73. I 72, I'm going to be 72. 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 I'm going to be 72
we stayed for almost uh, well, probably a hundred and fifty or sixty of the two hundred cars. Didn't stay till the very end, but um. So I said beforehand, you know, it's kind of two theories on this. What either the prices would be low because poor turnout because of COVID, or um, you know, higher because of pinup demand because there isn't hasn't been very many auctions this year. And um, I would tend to say, I mean, it depends on the car, but uh, nothing went too cheap. And there was some things that went surprisingly high, like that ramp band, that Corvair ramp band. I mean, I think it brought close to $50,000. I did not expect that at all. Um, there were a couple Cord 810, 812s that I thought, you know, would bring over $100,000. In fact, the estimate was 120 that uh, didn't even break 100. They were like 83 and 92,000. So those were low. I went and found one of them after the auction. And I mean, it did need, it wasn't like ready for a car show, I'll put it that way. So, you know, maybe that's what hurt the price on that one. It wasn't quite as slick. And that's kind of your concern about any uh, auction car. I mean, you really got to do your homework and spend some time looking at it before they go up on the block because they'll sometimes look a lot nicer up there than they really are. So maybe that was fair price for that those cars based on their condition. And that ramp van, I did, you know, as far as the Corvair, that ramp van, it was super nice. And, um, nope. Celebrato's pulling off to the side. Um, that ramp band, I think I mentioned before the auction, it was about the nicest one I'd ever seen. And then it brought, you know, high 40s. So, you know, maybe, maybe that's the thing. And, you know, that's kind of what a lot of the car collectors say is there's always a market for the super nice cars. So, if you're going to buy, you need to do your homework, though, and make sure you're buying something really nice, not something that just couldn't sell anywhere, and that's why it's at the auction. So with that, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, thanks for watching. It's this Auburn Events Labor Day weekend every year. It's been going on for a long time. Uh, so you hope you enjoyed it. I, I like it. I've gone every year, even back during the recession years when it wasn't much to see. But glad to see it still going on. Glad they had it, chose to have it, even uh, you know with the uh, lower turnout and stuff. So anyway, uh, until next time.